our round took a little longer. I didn't play so well, so I uh, I was kind of late getting back. So I figured, you know, we're all friends here. I figured I could come out in my golf attire and it'd be all right. Is that hey, this is a one of a kind. I don't think I've ever done an interview <laughs> in golf attire. So uh, JD Cannon, first one. <laughs> Is this like a typical day for Cole Swindell? You try to get out on the links now when you're out on tour? Yeah, usually try to do something, get out and be active somehow. But, I, I mean, golf is kind of, that's that's what I love to do. I mean, honestly, a lot of people have hobbies, hunting, fishing, this and that. And I just, you know, out here on the road, I just like to go go play golf. I've always been a sports fan. And, uh, you know, that's why I love coming to Indy, man, big sports town. And it's hard for me to believe that I, I knew exactly where I was coming for this interview because me and you have, have sat here for the past three years, man. And I, I can't believe how big things have gotten. But, man, this is like my third or fourth time playing, counting the two-nighter that Luke Bryan had here, I think. And i just like to add, every time you come, there's another number one or number or a second number one. So we're, we're up to five now, and, and middle of a memory is heading in that direction, too. Do you ever look in the mirror and just go, holy cow, I can't believe this? I, I mean, yeah, sometimes after a long night, you know, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, uh, just, yeah, absolutely, all the time. It's it, People ask me, do I have to pinch myself? I'm like, man, I'm on permanent pinch mode. I just, it's, it's hard to believe it's real, but, you know, crowds like this and, you know, venues, for me to remember this venue specifically and, and these people around this area, I mean, it just speaks of, of all your listeners. You know, it's a bunch of big country music fans that are passionate, and uh, that's, that's why I love coming to this area, you know, it's, it's crazy. When, last time a lot of people saw me probably was in eight seconds, and then now a saloon. Now we're out here at, at Klipsch again, so it's going to be good. Grace over here on the end. She, oh yeah, what's she up? was curious about your love life. If there's, you know. yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of settling down these days. You know, it's uh, I've I don't know. I've been single pretty much my whole life, but you know, I, I've uh, I don't know. It's 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 kind of time to settle down, find somebody that you know that. Uh, Loves me for me, not for what I do. So, uh, you know, I won't go into too much detail, but uh, thanks for asking, Grace. (laughs) Why don't you tell us a little bit about the story behind Middle of a Memory, and then we'll let you go ahead and introduce it. Yeah, Middle of a Memory, for for anybody listening right now that would consider themselves a huge fan and maybe have a copy of my EPs, the Down Home Sessions, there's a song called Kiss on there that I wrote a couple years back, and in the second verse... It says, girl, you left me here with half a beer in the middle of a memory. And we all stopped right then and looked at each other, and we were like, we have to write that right now. So we actually stopped in the middle of another song and wrote my brand-new single, Middle of a Memory, which is, if you listen to it, you know, I don't want people thinking it's, it's really not that, it's not a sad song. It's just kind of one of those unfortunate nights where you go out and you meet somebody and you're into each other things are going great you get out on the dance floor and i chose to put old school country song because everybody knows i'm a huge 90s country fan but uh you know you first dance and her friends come and grab her and you got to go one of her friends is sick outside crying by the cab and we've you know it's just one of those one of those nights to maybe and it's kind of like what could have been what should have been you know and that's what the song's about and we're about to film the video so we'll keep y'all uh hopefully uh folks will you know kind of see exactly what we're talking about here in this video i can't wait to, to film it and cole we thank you so much for Absolutely, taking time to brother. come and chat with us today and uh, hope next time you come and play golf here that you'll have a better round. I w- hey, today. I always say, you know, I get to have fun playing golf. I may, may be terrible out there, but we're going to make up for it tonight, so it's going to be good. Always a pleasure to see you, Cole. Good to see Here's you, brother. Here's more number one. Thank you, brother.